Happy Halloween, everybody. I want to share with you some tips that I'm using to help me stay accountable and uh, on track with my goals through tonight's Halloween festivities without feeling like I'm depriving myself or, or feeling depressed. Um, I hate that method and, and uh, thinking uh, when you're trying to get through a holiday. So the number one thing that I'm doing is I am putting on my schedule, solid set in stone, an awesome workout first thing tomorrow morning. When I'm going to look at all the candy that's around me and uh, the, the temptation to eat it, I'm going to have that workout first thing tomorrow morning on my mind. And the last thing I want to do going into that workout is feel blah and icky and bloated and just gross. Uh, so I think that that's a really good technique to help you through tonight, when you're looking at all this stuff, think about how you're gonna feel after you eat it. And instead of going, oh, well, I'm working out tomorrow so I can eat it, think about how you're gonna feel in your workout if you fuel yourself with the dunk food. Um, to be honest, it's never a pretty workout after I've eaten crappy the night before. So that's my first tip. My second tip is to make sure that you have something that you can eat. I'm making my favorite chocolate peanut butter protein balls and having those on hand to be able to grab if I get a temptation or I do want something, it takes me out of the deprivation and gives me a healthier option. So find a healthier option for yourself to be able to indulge in and to celebrate and enjoy. The third thing is to really look at this holiday and say, is it really worth it? Uh, what that means for me is like Thanksgiving, you're sitting down with family. You are creating memories and, and having that social aspect. And Christmas is the same idea. Halloween, it's just about going out, getting candy, coming home and eating. And there's not really much of a special moment. I mean, when I think back on Halloween during my childhood, I think about my costumes. I think about going to my family, you know, grandma's home and, and having her act surprised or scared or not sure who I am. And, uh, and those are the memories that I remember, not how much candy I ate. And, um, so really look and see, like, is this holiday really worth it? Um, and if it is, then go for it. But remember, you got to work out the next morning. The fourth thing is I am giving myself permission to slip up. Now that might sound weird and opposite, but here's what I'm doing. I'm going to say, you know what, if I want something, I'm going to have it. I'm allowing myself to have a piece of candy if I like it. By making it not be taboo, you're giving yourself the choice. And that's very empowering and builds confidence. And I'm giving my choice. I can have that. I can have whatever I want tonight. Nobody's stopping me. Nobody's telling me I can't. But I'm going to choose what's best for me. And just having that confidence to be able to choose and having that ability to forgive myself already if I do have some candy is taking so much pressure off of myself uh, to not be perfect. So those are the tips that I'm using to help myself. If you've got tips that really have helped you to be able to get through some holiday struggles, then comment below. I love to hear them. Let's help each other out.